Warning, this video contains unbridled insanity. Viewing this video will cause cerebral hemorrhaging. Uh, do we have global warming? We? Why yes, we do. By the way, that camouflage that you're wearing, I can still see you. Yes, we do. But we also have um, global cooling. That is true, just not at the moment. And we haven't had for almost 170 years. Here is a global average temperature reconstruction for the past 10,000 years. For the past 5,400 years, Earth has been cooling slightly right up until the Industrial Revolution, at which point greenhouse gases produced by human beings and our activities has greatly increased the global average temperature. If not for human release, greenhouse gases, Earth would still be cooling right now. You see, the climate is not static. Climates are static. That is why we call them climates. Weather is not static. Climate is static. Climate changes over tens of thousands of years. The problem at the moment is human-caused climate change, not climate change in the past. It changes. You have periods when you have very low temperatures. Then you go, then they go up. You have a short, shorter period with a warm climate. Then it goes down again and so forth. Yes, in a cycle of approximately 114,000 years. The problem is, the current cycle is still in a cooling phase, yet Earth is warming sharply. And all of the world's experts agree on why. And the cold periods last a lot longer than the warm periods. So. Today we are in a warm period and... Uh... No, today we are in a cooling and cold period, not a warming period. And I can still see you. Apparently it's still warming up. Yes, almost completely due to human activities, chiefly greenhouse gases. If not for human release, greenhouse gases, Earth would still be cooling right now. This graph shows all of the components involved in changing the Earth's climate at the moment. This includes human activities as well as the natural variability of the sun. At the moment, the sun has been warming very slightly for approximately the past 70 years. That warming comes to a total of 0 0.08 watts per square meter. Human cooling and human warming sums to a total of greater than one and a half watts per square meter. This is what is causing the current global temperature increase. If not for human activities, Earth would still be cooling. We are probably at the very top though, so shortly we will see that the climate changes and it starts to go, get cold again. Earth has been in the latest cooling phase for over 5,000 years at the moment. Earth is still warming sharply. All of the experts on the entire planet, and by the way, it's an ablate spheroid, it's not flat, agree on why. And what we will get from that is another ice age. In about 25,000 years. Uh, don't worry about it. In the Viking Age, for example, we had a warmer climate. We? And warmer compared to what? At the moment, Earth's global average temperature is warmer than any time during the so-called Viking Era. By the way, during the Viking Era, Earth was still cooling. And if you go further back in time, for example, to the Bronze Age, it was much hotter. No. Even in Scandinavia, women were walking around with the tiny tops and short skirts. I'm just so turned on right now. Because it was so hot. No. Currently Earth is warmer than during the Bronze Age. By the way, different regions on the planet had different periods of time when they had a Bronze Age. This is marking out on the graph here. 
the Aegean version of the Bronze Age. You see, the climate changes naturally. In the past, you forgot to add. The problem is not climate change in the past. The problem is human-caused climate change now. And um, there is absolutely no relation between CO2 emissions and global warming. And yet all of the world's geophysicists say the opposite. Why do you suppose that is? Here is a chart showing the increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide compared to the increase in surface temperature. Surface temperature of the land and the sea surface. Here is a graph of the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. This shows the relationship between increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and increasing global average surface temperature. For perspective, here is the PPMCC for the relationship between so-called secondhand smoking and lung cancer. This shows the PPMCC of smoking tobacco and lung cancer. The correlation between global average surface temperature and increased atmospheric carbon dioxide is very close to 1.0. By the way, causation was determined long before correlation was discovered. In, well, there is one relation. You see, if there is global warming, we have more CO2 emissions and not the other way around. So our emissions are completely irrelevant in that context. And yet, every single expert on the planet says otherwise. How do you explain that? How do you explain why Earth is still warming when it should be cooling? What's causing that? Um, what we do is not influencing the climate. All of the evidence, without exception, says the opposite. We know extremely well to high confidence what is warming and what is cooling the planet. I am very sorry, but it is us. One bit. And to those who think that, you know, human CO2 emissions uh, have such a huge impact. Otherwise known as all of the world's experts in the subject. Let me remind you of the fact that, um, you know, the last big uh, volcano eruption on Iceland um, had more CO2 emissions than all of Europe has had put together the last 40 years. No, humans produce almost 100 times as much carbon dioxide into Earth's atmosphere than volcanoes. And in, uh, in periods we have many volcano eruptions and in other periods we don't have that many and they, they're completely irrelevant in relation to the climate. How very odd that none of the world's experts on the subject agree with you. We know that when a major volcanic eruption occurs, Earth cools slightly for a year or two afterwards. This is because volcanic ash goes high into the stratosphere, reflects sunlight for a while, and Earth cools. The carbon dioxide released by these volcanoes are insignificant compared to human-released carbon dioxide. So there is no relation between our CO2 emissions and global warming. And yet all of the evidence shows that there is. If it's not human-released carbon dioxide, what's causing the current global average temperature increase? So why are they, why is the media so eager to talk about global warming and how we should reduce our emissions and so forth? I have no idea what the media is saying in your country, but in the United States, the answer is they are not and they are not. The United States media overwhelmingly is not reporting on human-caused climate change at all. When they mention it, they only tend to mention it in the winter when it's very cold. And there's a very simple explanation to that. Let me guess. Space Jews. According to some of the comments on your video, the people involved in this terrible, terrible scam hoax um, prank are Jews. And by golly, 
All of the world's ice masses are in on it. It's a tech scam. They want to take your money and they want to find new ways to make you pay them so that they can waste their money on whatever they want to waste their money on. Damn those space Jews and their taxes. You know, in the United States of America, there is generally a good agreement among all party, uh, political party members that a carbon-based fee is the best solution anybody has come up with at the moment. And by the way, it came from the United States Republican Party, and it is an excellent solution to the problem. A carbon fee placed on every barrel of fossil fuels. That fee would be paid by the producers of the fossil fuels. The producers meaning the people who sell fossil fuels to their customers. The customers would then get a income tax credit for that fee. The money would go right back to the people buying the fossil fuels. It doesn't go to the government. It doesn't even go to government regulation. It doesn't even go to government monitoring. It doesn't even go to government anything. It goes straight back to the consumers purchasing fossil fuels. This is known to be a good idea because in the places such as British Columbia where it has been tried, consumption of fossil fuels has decreased, the cost of fossil fuels has decreased. It is a win-win for everybody including not the atmosphere of the planet. We need to do what the Republican Party said we should be doing they said that 25 years ago. They had been saying that for over a decade. Let's do it. Global warming theory is, tax, is a tax scam. Uh, I think you mean climatology, not global warming theory, and no. Nothing else. There's no science to it whatsoever. There are currently more than 13,000 peer-reviewed papers in science journals being published every year. That is from 35 countries and 85 different science journals. By the way, all of these scientists agree humans are the cause. If you think that you have evidence that proves that CO2 emissions is what's causing global warming... No, there is no such proof. Then you are free to put all that evidence in the comment section below. You want people to put over 185 years of evidence, that is, the evidence that shows that increasing carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere has, did, and will continue to increase global average temperature. You want that in the comment sections of your videos. Do you see a problem with that request? I encourage you to try that, because it doesn't exist. There is no such evidence. Number one! If that is the case, why do all of the world's experts on the subject say the opposite? Number two, if it's not increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, why is Earth warming sharply and anomalously? But again, if you can prove me wrong, please do. And I did. You're welcome. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.